In this video, we're going to take a look at graphing complex numbers. Now, complex numbers, remember, are numbers that are of the form a plus b i, where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part. And our complex plane, which we see an example of right here, has the real axis being the horizontal and the imaginary axis being the vertical. So another way that we could think of graphing these is x plus yi, okay, where the real part is going to be what would be equivalent to the x, and the imaginary part would be equivalent to what we would normally graph in the traditional coordinate plane as the y. So let's take a look at some of these and see how we would graph them. First of all, negative 6. Well, for negative 6, all we have is a real part here, just that a. There's no i in there, so I just go to negative 6 on my real axis right here and make my point. Okay, so we're sitting right there. That would be negative 6. Okay, and I'll just make a box around it in that color to show that's where I graph that one. Okay, this one, 4i. Well, in this one, there's no real part. This number has an i with it, so that's this b, the imaginary part. So that goes on the imaginary axis, which is the vertical one. So we go up 4 right here. Okay. Then let's take a look at some where it's a combination with a complex number, where we have both a real part and an imaginary part. Okay, so for this one, we have 2 plus 4i. So remember, I'm going to graph the real part first, and then I'm going to go to the imaginary part. So 2, so I go over to 2, and then I'm going to graph the imaginary part, so I go up to 4, so that's going to put me right here. Okay, so that one would go over 2 on the real, and then up 4 on the imaginary axis. Okay, how about this one? 3 plus 2i. So for that one, we go over 3 on the reals, and then up 2 on the imaginary puts me right there. Okay, so there we've got that one. Then, let's take a look at this next one. Negative 8 minus 5i. Well, for that one, we're going to go negative 8 on the reals, so back 8, and then negative 5i is going to take me down 5. It's going to put me right there. Okay. And finally, let's take a look at this last one. For this one we have, oops, let me clean that up a little bit. For this last one we have 2 minus i. Well, in this case, what we're going to do is start with the real part, so the 2, so over 2, and then minus i is going to take me, remember there's a 1 there, so down 1, so over 2, down 1, going to leave me right about there. Okay. Now, just one thing to be aware of, be on the lookout, they're not always going to be written A plus BI. Sometimes it might be written like this. Maybe you'll have negative 5I plus 4. Okay. Be careful there because now this is the imaginary part and that's the real part. So to graph that one, what I would do is the 4 first, that's the real part, so over 4, and then down 5. That would put me right there. Okay, So just make sure that you have it in A plus BI form. So then the real part takes us left and right, the imaginary part takes us up and down, and we graph. Hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.